Well, if you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, thank you for joining me on Christmas Day, everybody. Uh, happy holidays. Hope you're having a great festive season. And as you can tell, my voice isn't perfect, but nonetheless, on with the show. So as we know, Christmas Day, well, as we've done one previous before on this video, I always like to do something that's like quite nice, nostalgic, has really good memories for me and fills, of, fills me up nice and warmth and happiness from my past. Last year we did the Microsoft and I absolutely love doing that video. And this year, as you can see obviously from the thumbnail and the title, we're going to do another thing. And that is... Da -da -da, the Galaxy Invader 1000. Oh, actually I wanted one of these for Christmas, roughly about... Um, I should probably say about 10 years ago. No, no, a bit longer. Probably 13, 14 years ago. And the problem was is they were all crazy expensive. Absolutely crazy expensive. Incomplete ones, you know, just the actual machine itself was actually selling for roughly £150 at Christmas time. So I was like, no, that's too much. I'm not willing to pay that. So what did I do? I waited till February and I picked up this very one for, I think it was £18 posted. So a very happy me. So let's have a closer look at the box as we normally do. But wear and tear. This one actually stays on my shelf because it's happy in the memories. Computer space game with... Dynamic sound and light, two colour fluorescent display panel, 2K bytes LSI. <laughs> Feel the power. Okay. Computer space battle game uh, with what it says on the front. And it's there. And this side, the exact same thing. And on the top, different angle with the exact same thing. And on this side, strangely enough, the exact same thing, but the back is different. How to play the Galaxy Invader 1000. Scoreboard, UFO, 10 points. Invaders, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 points, obviously, as they go down. You have the UFO, and that line, the Invader, Invader Beam, Invader Destroyed by Missile, Missile from Launcher, Missile Launcher, Invader Victory Sign, and you have Missile Fire Button, on and off, Missile launcher, control lever, which is obviously left and right, and speed control level, space cadet, space officer, or space ace. Got me Dexter, huh? Note, please acknowledge that the standards and external appearance may change without notice when so required for improvement. Specifications, main electric parts, 2K bytes. LSI transistors, diode, two coloured fluorescent display panel size, two four five by one three two by sixty millimeters, weight two hundred and ninety-eight grams, power pen like batteries four time one point five DC not included. For ages six and up, fun for the entire family. Computer games, limited CGL, two one four two two oh Maybank Road, Woodland, London. Uh, E18, 1EX, telephone, oh my wow, those are some old numbers, try giving them a call now. And so, um, in we go. I mean, the memories I have of this, I do remember getting one Christmas Day, I mean, look at that. I mean, obviously it's, it's a bit tainted because it's old, it's a bit long. But I got this um, around Christmas time when I was younger. And one of the very, very many of the uh, games that I used to spend a heck of a lot of time with my father playing. We used to play this absolutely loads. Look, I have the paperwork, which you don't ever see anymore. Right, so this is basically uh, what it says on the back. Uh, give you guys a closer look, because I know you're comparing it with your one to see uh, if it's the correct one. Uh, the only thing I haven't noticed so far is if it has a year. Right, attack as many invaders and UFOs as you can within the limit time and score up to a thousand points. Fire your missiles to eliminate computer controlled UFO and invaders while outmaneuvering the invader beams. You score 10 points for exploding a UFO and from 1 to 5 points for shooting down an invader. Depending on the invader's position on the screen, point score are automatically accumulated on the display panel. Each player has three missile launchers in each game. When you reach 700 points, one missile launcher and 50 miss missiles are given as a bonus. Your game is complete when you score maximum points, 1,000. Your three missile launchers are destroyed by invader beams. The invader captures your missile launcher 
when you have fired 250 missiles. And uh, this is a bit old look. Challenge Invader with skill and technique. Yes, and I'm sure you guys don't want me to read this because I've done a lot of reading. And uh, yeah, there we go. Ah, four batteries. How to do it? Battery installation. Can we figure it out? Figure it out. But yes, so here we go. Take out the polythane insets. The original lovely plasticky bag it came in. I'm hoping to figure out which it came to grab it. And hope that time has been wow good to this. Um yeah. <laughs> Not a mark on it anywhere. Uh, he says and sees loads of dirt on it. Um, when I did actually pick this up, I definitely played this for a little bit. I had to check it over and over again. Now, of course, it's been sat and stored away for a while, so there is the slightest of chance that something's happened inside and maybe the capacitors or something don't work. And this is basically what it says on the instruction part we just read. All right. We pop them out, and we need double A batteries. Kodak from Poundland. I think you get um, ten for a squid or a jellyfish. No euros in England. We use pounds, and we keep fingers crossed that the invader actually works. Um, all right, installation. Because you know how good I am with batteries. First of all, make sure it's off, which it is. One battery, two battery. Three battery, four battery, and click. <laughs> and the moment of truth. E and I'm dead already. Oh my god, this is awesome! I'd say you don't need to to see the bottom. So come on, ship at the top. We want to get you. That's weird because it doesn't go left to right. It actually, you got it. It goes like left. You know, it goes there and back, there and back. It doesn't actually go in a set pattern, and it doesn't stay on the screen very long. Come on, we can do this. You can do it. You can do this all night. Wow, it's like I literally been playing all day, and I haven't. I swear to you. As you can tell by the fact that I died instantly. Skill them on, the camera's in the way. I'm on skill one. So it's a good start. We'll see how we can do on skill one. And my cat's appreciating me playing this as well. And so as I was doing amazing, we're going to switch it up to level two. Are we ready for some level two-ness? I mean, you definitely get more bullets firing at you. Yee. Oh, I used to love this. I mean, even my brothers and sisters used to sit down and play this. This is one of the ones I do remember that I sold at a boot fair when I was a teenager. I think I was happy to get like 50p for it, but by then my one was like just scratched to shit, you know. This one's pretty much immaculate. I definitely got lucky with this one. Uh, you know, I only really ever played this one. did the video on the other one I had, which I think my mum got from a place called Linda's Drugstore which had this revolve around part where you could buy toys and that's where that one came from so that's level two da -da -da. are we ready for the ultimate challenge I mean look at that look how clear the reflection of the camera is we're gonna pump it up to level three and straight away are we gonna die? no <laughs> just a few more bullets Go away, but I always remember never actually being able to get more than 200 on level 3. And yes, the flickering is actually supposed to be there. Oh, come on, come on, I could do this. I can beat my all time score. <laughs> Go on. Here I am, some 30 plus years later. 
So I don't actually know what year this came out, so I would have to look into it and find out. Oh god, I'm so close, I'm so close. I can do it. <laughs> and there goes the first ship. 97, yes, I've done it. I have beaten 200. I mean, it goes to show my skills as a gamer has matured over the past billion years. But, um, yes, I'll be playing this all day if I keep playing it. Absolutely one of my most favourite and treasured toys at all time. Of course, it's a shame that it's not my original one. But, you know, we all make the mistakes of selling stuff at boot fairs. Especially when you think you're going to get like 50p to a pound for stuff. Because that's a lot of money. But, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Especially if you're watching on Christmas Day. Have an awesome Christmas Day. Hope Santa bought you all the retro toys, retro games and presents you... Um, could ever wish for and have a fantastic Christmas day.